Hello guys, today in this video I would like to explain you how to sort the issue of large size images on your WordPress website. I am unfortunately the one who stores a lot of pictures which aren't compatible with the current requirements defined by Google. If you take a look on some of my articles, you will spot that most of pictures have the PNG extension. Unfortunately, this is one of the worst graphic extension you could put into your website. As a result, you will see the error such as this, that images aren't in next-gen formats. The next-gen format today is WEBP or ADIF. Unfortunately, the conversion isn't simple as you could think, despite a lot of plugins available in your WordPress platform. There are quite a few plugins which serve you the option for image optimization. Their primary goal is to convert major PNG or JPG images into the WEBP format, but in most of cases, the original file extension is stored next to them in the same folder. Is it good? I don't think so, to be fair, because when the site is loading, it still needs to browse across the directory where the pictures are located. Therefore, I don't think using any of this picture is a good approach, but it's only my opinion. I found another way, which maybe isn't the quickest one, but may be quite efficient for all of you, because it leads to supersede all the images, literally all the images from the PNG format into the WEBP format. But the prerequisite you will need is an access to your FTP service. So let's see all the steps, how they should look like. I've got over 200 posts. In most of them, more than 10 pictures is stored. As a result, I collected over 3,300 pictures in total in my whole blog website. But what is the most curious, breaking them down between any kind of thumbnails, I will count them up to nearly 40,000. This amount is enormous. And obviously, as I said previously, there are plugins which can done this job quite quickly for you, but admittedly, I'm not convinced enough to their final output. I don't think the website itself would be much faster. Therefore, I would like to show you the process which I found, and I hope that it will be kind of useful for you, especially that you probably have less images than I do. So imagine that I would like to replace all the images from the posts allocated to this specified month. So, because this is July 2017, first thing which I, I'm going to do, I'm going to export these posts to the XML file and then do the relevant changes. I've forgotten to tell you that apart from the FTP server, you will need some software which allows you to edit XML files. So I'm going to Tools and use the export option. In the export, I'm selecting my posts. All categories start date will be the August 20, sorry, July 2017. End date will be also July 2017 and hit download export file. In this case, your XML file is generated with the data reflecting your blog content from that particular time. Now in your download folder, this is the file you will need. All right. So let's copy your XML file to the target folder where you will working on in the nearest future. And you may have noticed the other one, which I prepared previously. This file represents settings from the plugin, which is AOCO responsible for the CO settings for each of my articles. So 
prior to this process if you have any plugins set up upon the content you have it's advisable to export this content to the file such as this because otherwise you might lose some content right some settings sorry right so i've exported the aoseo plugin if you want to do it same as me go to the plugin go to the tools and use the import export tab where you can select export all settings all post types and simply hit the export button i won't do it because i already prepared my file all right going back to your folder you have obviously the xml file which requires the alterations so by right click you can select the options for opening this file i can edit it with notepad plus plus which is dedicated for stuff like this however it can be done also with the traditional notepad application in fact i don't really advise you to do so as notepad doesn't have coloration with the code lines text and so on so it's better to use some dedicated software in order to highlight some important elements so i will use notepad plus plus for this purpose and after opening i can see the whole content of my exported articles which includes both the text as well as links to my images their target directory as you can see here wordpress content uploads and july 2017 is the folder where they are stored next i can see the name of my image and its extension which is png so all of them are png some of them are jpg today i'm going to replace only png with webp extension all right by doing it i can hit ctrl f and instead of find hit replace find what png with quotation replace with webp with quotation okay by using quotation i can safely replace the image extension just within the link sometimes if you are dealing with photography articles or stuff like that you may have the png text somewhere inside your string so that's why the quote here is advisable. By hitting replace all, you can see all the occurrences were replaced. Now, instead of PNG, you can see WEBP. So we are done, right? Alternatively, you could also do replacement, something like this, making sure that everything is gone also with the bracket and close by HTML tag. So you can hit replace all again and see that there were no occurrences so we are fine when everything is sorted save our file and close down notepad plus plus now let's back to your posts and see what is happening so as we already replaced the xml content for this specified time frame we can select all our posts and in a bulk manner move them to trash next when they are trashed we need to empty our trash all right now the posts shown just previously don't appear anymore but this is just the temporary thing all right because what i'm going to do now i'm going to my ftp server establish the connection which i did previously and go to the specified location where my images are stored all right now i see that this is exactly the directory considered for my process so i will copy all the images to my directory When everything is transferred properly, I have all the images downloaded to my drive. But instead of looking at their thumbnails, I would advise you to switch between details where we have type and other details. Of course, type is most interesting for us and we will sort all of them by type. Some of them, I think quite a lot of them are JPG, but majority of them are PNG. So these PNG images are going to be converted to the desired format. 
I can do the same sort on my server already, sort the images by file type, and wherever PNG is considered, just delete it. It might take a while, but will be much quicker than downloading to the drive itself. All right, so when the, all the PNG images are gone from the server, now I'm going to show you the nice web-based tool which can do the batch conversion for you. So you can select images from your drive, but I won't do it like this. I will simply go to my folder and select all the PNG images down to the end of my directory. Now just copy them here and tool will display all the thumbnails for them. I have some options here where the output is WEBP. In fact, you can convert to the other output available under the other link. But what is important, the size. So you can keep them in the same size as proposed. And you can also change the quality of them. As default, the quality of 80% is set, but you can use quality 091, depends what important these pictures are for you. The undeniable fact is that they will be compressed in size. When you are fine with everything, just hit convert all images and simply wait for the result. The conversion here won't last so long and you will be informed that file is already been downloaded. So the output is zipped. And you can see the size is significantly smaller than a bunch of images downloaded from the server. For the comparison, I could tell you that the overall size of this folder is nearly 200 megabytes, whereas you've got just 50. So move this folder here. And preferably extract them all. After extraction, let's check the total size. It's over 10,000, sorry, it's over 10 times smaller than an initial one, which is great. And here you've got all the images converted to the WEBP format. They look exactly the same with quality of 80% as defined earlier. So, Next, you need to go to your directory, which I believe you have open, and simply paste all the images there. When everything is transferred back to your server, you will see all the PNG images have been successfully replaced with WEBP format, and they are over 10 times smaller than the initial ones. What is happening next? You have no articles provided on your website. Therefore, you need to pack to your tools here. And instead of export now, you are selecting import option. Run importer from WordPress and choose file stored previously in your folder, which is here. Hit open and hit upload with all the media considered. All right. It may take a while, depending on the scale of your file. The process is predominantly successful. By hitting have fun, you are redirected to your dashboard. And now, after refreshing your page, your articles are back, right? By clicking the picture here, you will see that the extension has changed. It's now WEBP. So I believe it's far better than using .png .webp because as I noticed, the conversion made by plugins isn't as much effective as conversion done by this amazing web-based plugin. I just noticed that WordPress plugins can reduce the size of your image by about 60 up to 70%, whereas this amazing tool does over 90%. That's why I prefer you to use this option instead. All right, just in case we can browse down across the 
article and see if there are some images missing but it looks like everything back to the same position as it was before that's simply amazing same as here head images are also back so no one knows that you did the conversion this is the last thing which i would like to tell you about go back to your posts and find the ones affected by our process as you will see this is what i told you at the very beginning with respect of storing setups for plugins you use for your content right the posts in fact have been restored with all the images replaced but i've lost the aoco results right therefore i need to go to my plugin here go to the tools section where in import export tab i will use the option import restore aoco settings by choosing my file i'm selecting the file i told you before hit open and hit import because file is quite big it may take a while to loading it but it should be fine success your settings have been imported let's check it with our posts again go to the post section and find the posts which were affected by our image conversion it was july 2017 so all the posts are exactly here as you can see our ao cell settings have been restored successfully so this is all what i would like to tell you today i hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new and i hope that this approach will be useful for you thank you for your attention